These are the worst losses of the Adelaide Crows Football Club. With my guest, who played for the Adelaide Crows. Normally I, I have a rule of no players, but uh, with this guy I'll make an exception because he's one of the best. And uh, we enjoyed the win so much. But well, You build me up and then you absolutely tear me down, Danny. Well, we're, we're talking I was about having losses. such a great time. Until you now you want to talk about the worst bits of the LA Crows. Yeah, yeah. And no finals and as well. not That's Josh cool. Rochelle pointing to his teeth. <laughs> That's, we're not going to bring that up. We can bring that up. <laughs> Absolutely. That was great fun. <laughs> if you want to keep it fresh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, let's get into it. Number five. Oh. Yeah, okay. Number, number five, 1991. And mm -hmm. I spoke about the, um, the great win we had against Hawthorne round yeah. one. But then things, we fell off a cliff. Um, so I don't know if you remember in 1991, Tony Lockett kicked over 100 goals. But yep. he went on a hot streak, three games where he kicked 34 goals. Mm -hmm. And round seven against the Adelaide Crows, he kicked 12 goals, six. And Oof. absolutely tore us apart. <laughs> Actually, I've spoken to Andrew Jarman about this. Oh, yeah. Because Graham Corns asked him to drop back into the hole. So in the right, so that means go back into defence yeah. and you know give give the defenders a help out. Yeah, yeah, so he was starting in the midfield, and then his role was because Tony Lockett was on fire so much. Once it's out of the middle, I want you to just drop back as the extra man in the hole mm -hmm. about 20 metres in front of Tony Lockett. Oh, no. That's oh. where you have to check vital organs, kidneys, <laughs> liver, because that knee, and we saw with Peter Caven's yes. nose and elbow, oh. I mean, you got, you've got body parts coming from all angles. God, they, coaches want you to you know lie down in front of a train for yeah. their team, but that's literally asking oh, you God. to li lie down in front of the have freight train. Have you seen Plugger these days? He's skinny. He looks like me. It's creepy. What has happened? I had a photo with Plugger. I'll have to put, you can put it up. I will, I will. Um, but everyone's like, you actually actually look like Plugger and he's apparently he's on the bike and he's just fit as a fiddle. And you can get out and play again. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so that's my first loss. All right. Number four. Number four, we're jumping to 2008, mm -hmm. round one. I mean, you're always testing the waters to see what your team's like round one for the rest of the year. Um, we played the Bulldogs, your team, Danny. Yes, I'm going to stay tactfully quiet on this one because uh, your, yours and my recollections of this day are polar opposites. Well, you're going to be a happy man because I want to talk about the smiling assassin, Brad Johnson. Look, it's the greatest 300th in the history of It was his 300th game. It was, yeah. That's right, it was too. And that we're going to stick with threes because I think with three minutes to go, we were three goals up. <laughs> And then who kicks the final three goals for the Bulldogs for the Crows to lose? Brad Johnson. Yep. Now, as, as heart-wrenching as this is for Crows fans, I still think uh, you, you are in arrears when it comes to who, who's inflicted more pain on each other of the two clubs. You've got the 97 prelim, you've got the 98 prelim, you've got the 2015 elimination final oh where the, the, uh, the Talia brothers I, allegedly I, leaked the game plan. That's right, Yes. But I will always carry that image of Tony Liberatore being carried <laughs> Me up. Me too. Thinking he's kicked the goal in yes. that prelim final. He did kick a goal. I was behind the goal, so it was it. definitely... Actually, Brad Johnson said he swears on his on his yep. mother's life that that was definitely a goal. Absolutely was a goal. Um, so. But so, yeah, and I've got the image of Brad Johnson putting both hands in the air and falling on his back <laughs> after he kicks the winner. But it is not as... Do you know what I've just realised? Uh, I'm going to have to edit this and I'm going to have to source images of Tony Liberatore. You're a prick. <laughs> yes, that's the only image that I wanted. Because we can't do finals, so I'm bringing it up this way. So I got that so excited liver. that there was a Bulldogs game in here. I'm going, ah, oh, sweet, this will be a happy reaction. Well played, <laughs> Fitzgerald. Bad luck, Liver. It's a point, mate. You lost. Number three. Number three, worst loss. You've got to go to showdowns here. There's showdowns is that there's a theme in this with wins and losses. But yeah, I would be. I'm actually surprised that it's not five showdowns. Yeah, I, yeah. Actually, well, <laughs> I, I was thinking about it, but I'm actually going to pick a showdown that I played in. Danny. Okay. How many did you play in total? Uh, one. Okay. <laughs> So it was the first showdown in 2002, everybody, mm -hmm. and I started the year quite well. I kicked. Actually, we spoke about one of the wins um, that I had was against Sid the Sydney Swans, my old team. Yep. And um, I kicked for that game. So I was having a great year, and then all of a sudden my form started to drop off a little bit, and Gary Ayres said, the showdown this week, Fitzy, I'm going to start you on the bench. Ooh. 
Then at quarter time, Fitzy said, he said, Fitzy, I'm going to keep you on the bench. Oh. Then at half time, he said, Fitzy, keep yourself warm on the exercise bike because in the third quarter, you're going to be on the bench. <laughs> then everybody, close game. When do you bring the, the draw card on? When do you bring on Fitzgerald? Last quarter. So he brings me on. I'm on the phone and he goes, Fitzy, I want you to win this game. I want, no, we were leading at the time. He said, I want you to ice the game for okay. us. Okay. Get on there and do it. This is your moment. What this a Disney is... uh, climax oh. sort of... Uh... And I was so warm. I'd been riding the exercise bike for the last an hour 20. <laughs> so I run onto the field. Daryl Wakeland, tough opponent. Yes. Very good player. And we were, I reckon, Danny, we were around about nine points up mm -hmm. with a few minutes to go. I take a mark on an angle... Or was it? A, was it, it may have been a, a free kick, Mark or free kick, on Daryl Wakeland, fifteen meters out on an angle. Sweet. This is to ice the game. Here Takes we go. Us to fit like fifteen points. This is your moment. They need three goals to win the game. Only a few minutes left. Absolutely shank the kick. Oh no! I think it was out in the fall. I may oh. have even been out in the fall. They take it down. They kick a goal. Goes back to the middle. They come back, kick another goal. Port Adelaide win the showdown. I had a chance to ice the game. What did Gary S say after that? <laughs> well, the the old perm mullet, I didn't see him. I got dropped after that, then did my knee and never spoke to him again. <laughs> Love you, yeah. Hazy. Love you, mate. And that's number three. That's number three. <laughs> <laughs> and the second worst loss in the history of the Adelaide Crows, according to my guest, Fitzy. It's another showdown. Yep. And it is the year 2013. Once. I remember this one. Okay. I remember this one. I had friends from Adelaide staying at my house, and one was a Port supporter, one was a Crow supporter, and uh, they almost divorced that day. <laughs> so we... Umpires didn't look after us that day. <laughs> you were well ahead, as I recall. We were well ahead. Yeah. Okay, so we... They needed, like... I think in the end, they needed, like, a, two goals with a minute to go, mm -hmm. and... Um, Angus Momfries has had a shot. Port Adelaide have brought it out of Adelaide's defence. Everyone's on the edge of their seats. And Angus Momfries had a shot from about 50 metres out with his left foot. And it is cruising through for a point. Like, it was in between the goal post and the point post. So there's a gasp of relief from all Crows fans going, that's a point, we can set up, we can slow it down, retain the ball, and it's game over. The ball lands short and it, and it lands before it hits the line and bounces like Shane Warne yeah. would have been so <laughs> impressed. It bounces at right angles and goes through for a goal. They're still not ahead. They take it back to the middle and then they take it down. And who takes a mark? Chad Wingard to yeah. kick his fifth goal for the game, Domination. And we lose that one as well. I can't believe I'm talking about this stuff. I, it's all right. I wanted to enjoy the day, Danny. This is this is uh, we, we yeah, this is healing. This is uh, <sighs> this is yeah okay. This healing. is just uh, yeah. this is just Schadenfreude. <laughs> uh, g'day to all the power fans who are watching this. No, uh, go and get stuff. <laughs> like and subscribe. Send it to all the Port fans. <laughs> <laughs> Worst loss Crows have ever had in home and away games because you've had some nightmare finals as well. What is it? Well, let's just say, because we're from South Australia, Danny, and you won't understand this. I won't. You're I'm from filthy Victoria. Victorian. You're from Victoria. We eat weak Vix for breakfast. I took that to a State of Origin game once as a banner. We eat weak Vix. Weak, weak Vix. Oh, weak Vix. Okay. Weak Vix I get for it. breakfast. Yep. It's not bad, is it? Uh, sure. Play on words. Good pun. <laughs> You've uh, got Kikovic, you've got all these yeah. great punts. Do you know what we had? What? Nothing. We yeah, it didn't have any. Oh, no. Well, you it's a one-sided rivalry. No, you had Lockett, Dunstall, well, and yeah. Ablett. That's what you had. <laughs> and Ablett, and Dunstall's from Queensland. Oh, I know. <laughs> um, so this is a recent one because we don't think that the AFL is on our side. Mm -hmm. 2023 final game, the Crows to get into the finals. Ben Keys snaps from the boundary, yep. celebrates because he knows, he knows he's kicked a goal and the goal umpire doesn't even, doesn't even refer it. He makes the de decision that it's hit the post Oof. and it's a point. Oof. We lose the game, we don't make the finals. Oh. And Gil McLaughlin, you know what? 
it was okay, everybody, because he came out during the week and he said, we're sorry. Oh, <laughs> everything's okay because you said sorry. <laughs> we're out of the fucking finals. <laughs> and then we get, and then they look after us in the 2024 fixture. We get all the Friday night games and we okay. get flogged this year. So, oh, yeah. so we'll never get them again. Oh, at least, well, at least they did something. I know, we so. had a shocking year this year. Uh, it's oh, right. You beat us. Man. Anyway, anyway. That's Fitzy's list. Did he get? Did he miss anything, Crows fans? Is there any worse losses, Port fans? Is there anything else? Any other showdowns you want to rub into him? Let us know in the comments. Um, if you've enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe. Um, another big thing is like, um, send this to friends. Like, you know, yeah. get get the watch hours up and and stuff. I don't want to go full YouTuber, Mr. Beast wanker of like, smash that subscribe <laughs> button. All of that's crap. But you know, yeah. just you know, I'm fighting it. Jake Paul next week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be the sixth worst loss. The Crows have had. <laughs> <laughs> um, tune, if you live in Sydney, listen to Nova. Um, even if you don't, you can get it on the Nova app yep. and stuff and, and watch the front bar. And, um, and if you see Fitzy out and about, buy him a beer. Yeah, and talk about the losses.